Hi, my name is Jason Beal. Welcome to Shavers Creek Environmental Center. I'm the program director for the Animal Care Program. We are Penn State's Native Wildlife Zoo. We feature amphibians, reptiles, and raptors. Hi, my name is Abby. I am the Raptor Program Coordinator here at Shavers Creek. We work with a variety of species of eagles, hawks, owls, vultures. So our job as caretakers of these animals and trainers of these animals is to make sure that they're really prepared to do their job of educating the public. When folks come in to visit the raptors, we want them to be able to see a vulture in the way that they would behave in the wild. And we want them to see what a hawk would look like perched in a tree naturally. Another way that we serve the Shavers Creek community is by allowing students from a variety of different backgrounds and places to come and experience that themselves. The career of working with animals and around animals with wildlife in any capacity really requires a level of experience that is difficult to get unless you're able to find the right place. Live animals are the reason that I care about the environment. They're the reason that I watch what I do in my actions, and I want to be able to share that with others, and I want others to have the same experiences that I had. My name's Joe. I'm the Amphibian and Reptile Program Coordinator here at Shavers Creek Environmental Center. So I oversee the amphibians and reptiles, which are collectively known as herps. Unlike raptors, reptiles and amphibians are ectothermic or cold-blooded, which means that they have to regulate their body temperature using external temperatures around them. We try and provide them as wide a range in those temperatures as we can. We also try and provide them with different opportunities to exercise. So for a turtle, that may mean climbing over uh, logs or other obstacles in their enclosures to really help build their muscles in that capacity. These animals are here as ambassadors for their species. And there's a lot we can learn about them, natural history-wise, how they use their environment, how they use their habitats, and most importantly, what we can do to help protect them. Uh, these animals may be here because of disabilities they've received related to uh, human causes. Those can include car collisions or unintentional lead poisoning. And so one of the things we want to do is have people form a connection with these animals, make a connection with the species, and think about their place in the environment and how they can help promote and conserve biodiversity. One of the exciting things we had the opportunity to do here during our redesign was really reimagine what our animal care program could look like and where these animals live their lives. And so one of the primary things that we learned is we want to make sure our animals have as much choice and control as they can over their lives. By giving them extra perching options or extra basking options, it allows them to move around and engage in behaviors that we might not normally see. And that allows for new educational opportunities for visitors, uh, for us to make that connection with the animal, with their species, and with the habitats in Pennsylvania that sustain them. We want to work with our birds to make sure that they're comfortable and engaged in taking care of themselves and exhibiting these natural behaviors. Enrichment can be really any type of items or things that we can provide to the animals that allow them to engage in natural behaviors. So in the case of a raptor, that might mean ripping and tearing. In the case of a turtle, it might mean swimming or turning their head sideways to take a bite of some food. And if you can't make it out to Shavers Creek, there's still ways to get involved. You can go online to www.shaverscreek.org and check out our honorary animal caretaker program and sponsor the daily care of one of our animals for a month or for the entire year. Traditionally amphibians and reptiles are considered sedentary at best and scary at worst and we at Shavers Creek are trying to challenge that mindset. Um, there's something very different about looking in the eyes of an animal. Being able to have that interaction creates an emotional connection that really sticks with people no matter what age they are.